Hey guys and welcome back. And in this part we're gonna go ahead and join this cable up again and we're gonna probably run into an issue because we deleted the history on it, but it's okay. Um, if we because we kept the curve, we can still edit the curve and then um, extrude it again, so that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and delete this that we created. And as you can tell we still have this curve here. And we're also going to go ahead and delete this one because we can just go ahead and duplicate it over, I think. So we're going to go ahead and delete those. And we're only going to go ahead and work on this one piece. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this where it's supposed to be sitting again. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it back, drag it here. And just going to go ahead and attempt to line this up roughly correctly, probably about there. And let me just look around this side, it looks okay. We're going to go ahead and rotate it a little bit and drag it in so it sits inside it, like so. And let me just look on the other side, we're going to have to go ahead and rotate it a little bit more. <coughs> And that looks alright to me now. We could go ahead and adjust the vert or add, an, uh, add a lattice deformer to it, but I don't really see much point in doing that at this moment in time. We can go ahead and just drag the vert about if you want it to, so it sits on there perfectly, but I mean, you really not going to get into I mean that close to that object so this is all you're going to be seen from it or not even that okay so I really shouldn't bother with lining it up properly so we're just going to go ahead and select our curve that you hopefully haven't deleted because I did tell you to keep it and we're going to go ahead and select this control vertex and shift select this and right click a vertex and then click on the midpoint of that and hold down V and we can go ahead and drag it to the middle of that cylinder okay or that object so now our curve lines up with that and we're also going to have to go ahead and adjust the curve again after we did this face so we're just going to go ahead and select this object again and we're going to have to go ahead and duplicate the face again so I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these faces that we need for our cable like so and I'm just going to hit isolate to make sure that is the only thing that I have selected and that is so I'm going to come out of isolate and we're going to go ahead to our edit mesh and hit duplicate face like so and now I'm just going to um, press the up arrow so I access the group and then hit shift P to um, uh, degroup it and now we can go ahead and I'm just going to select the object and find it in my outliner which is that one I'm just going to go ahead and drag it out tad so, so to about there and now I'm going to go ahead and select this and go ahead and delete edit the little by type history and I'm also going to degroup them or actually they can stay in a group it's fine and I'm just going to name this cable and I'm going to name this yeah we're not going to name that well we should really just going to smooth it and name it cable entrance head Like so, and now if we select and go to modify center pivot on that just for now, and hold down shift and select our curve, and then go ahead and hit extrude. And my machine is copying, so you might hear some weird noises. Um, so now that we extrude it, we're gonna come down to our let me just turn it off one sec. There we go, 
stop making noises. So now that we extruded that, we're going to go ahead and add the divisions. So we're going to come into our inputs and pump up the divisions to about 25 should do it. And now if we go ahead and select our cable again and hit smooth, we should have a pretty nice result. And obviously, if you go ahead and isolate this, we're going to have to go ahead and add the edge loops to it. So we'll hold its shape at the end. So let's go ahead and do that. And go ahead, insert edge loop tool and drag one on there. And how are we going to add an extra edge loop in here? I'm going to go ahead and select the faces. That's right, you said it. I'm going to go ahead, select the faces and go ahead and hit extrude, scale, center, down, and that's it. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So if I just go ahead and select the face on there and hit F to frame in. And we're going to go ahead and again, you guessed it, we're going to go ahead and select these faces. There we go, hit extrude, scale, in into the edge loop tool right on the end hit free and it's all sweet and nice and pretty so we're going to come out of our um, isolation mode and we're going to have to go ahead and adjust this curve just a tad as you can tell here and also it wouldn't in reality it wouldn't really go this way so we're going to go ahead and just adjust this curve again. So I'm going to go ahead and find my curve. If I just go ahead and where did we put that curve? I'm going to go ahead and select all of this and it will tell me. There we go, that's our curve. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate that and the cable and this piece. And actually, you don't need that thing. So I'm just going to unisolate, deselect that, isolate again, and there we go. So now, if we select that, go to curve point or control vertex, I mean. There we go. We're just going to go ahead and adjust some of these points, probably in the side view. So if you remember, our. Um, this connector was sitting here, so you're just going to go ahead and drag all of these points forward a little bit, so it will sit where it should be again. I'm going to go ahead and drag these as well, and obviously we're going to have to go ahead and make sure that our curve is looking good again. So I'm just going to go into my front view and have a look there how it's looking, and there we go. I'm going to have to go ahead and slide these forward now I'm just doing this very rough now and then we're going to go ahead and touch it up later and we can always untoggle the isolation mode just to see how our cable is looking So now in here, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this point out this way a little bit. So it will have a nicer entrance to it, as you can tell. And trying to line this up properly well roughly properly even though it's never going to be seen I said it in the previous part I still got this weirdness to try to get it correctly and now I'm just going to go ahead and have a look at it and see how it's looking and it looks good to me so I'm just going to go ahead and come out here and just deselect my curve and again, I'm just having a look, making sure that 
it looks okay. And I mean, it looks all right. We can assume that this is a fairly, we all assume that this is a fairly hard cable so it keeps its shape even because of gravity because it would kind of come down. So we all assume that this is a hard cable. Um, now we're going to go ahead and select this and that and we can probably just go ahead and duplicate and scale or oh, actually I don't know if this is going to work. If we go ahead and hit modify center pivot, where is the group that we just made? I'm tempted to delete this whole head and do that way. I think that's what we gonna do. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and delete this head, but deselect this and this, if I do that again, where are our connectors, our connector, um, mm, 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 mm. All right, this is how we're going to do it. We're just going to go ahead and drag it and making sure that we got everything selected that we want to delete. Hit delete. Okay, so that's all good. And we're going to go ahead and get these two objects and hit Shift P to ungroup it. And then we can select all these nodes and hit delete. Okay, so it's all good. And then now we're going to go ahead and select this head and make sure that this is a part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and find where it is back head cable hole. And we're going to go ahead and group this with that as well. And then we're going to go ahead and drag this into I left. And now if we select that and hit duplicate without these pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and drag out. Select that as well. Don't need those bits. Make sure this is there as well. And this. And then group these up just temporarily. So control G, control D to duplicate. Then scale X minus one, enter. Hit V to move. Spacebar, modify, center, pivot. Okay, and now we can go ahead and move this. So it sits at the right place, like so, and hopefully that worked well. Yes, it did. And now I'm just going to go ahead and hit Shift P to ungroup this node that we just made. And this is going to be, if I deselect and select again, this is going to be our I right. And now I'm going to go ahead and drag these in there. And we connected our pieces up. And I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this a tiny bit, just drag it out like so. And let me just check in here if these are still connected up properly. And they are. Yep, it is. And let me just make sure I'm going to go ahead and center the pivot on this. So I write center pivot, block is hidden, 
I connect to main is there and it is indeed center pivot. Neck main is right there, right eye there, and you got all the parts in it. I left is right there and all the parts are in it. So our groups looking good. And center pivot on that one as well. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and empty this layer. And we're gonna go ahead and name this head. Hit safe, because we created those. And then we're gonna go ahead and select this head. I mean, I left. Control, left click, I right. And we also going to go ahead and I think these pieces will go in the neck, okay? So one in these these two, and click add selected objects, and now we can hide them and unhide them. And all these pieces, we're gonna create a new layer because we'll need it layer later, and call it neck. Might as well name it layer just in case we're gonna have some issues with naming it later. So head on the score layer, I'm going to do the same with these. References. And we're going to go ahead and select our neck and select our connector and add it to our neck layer. Okay, so now we can go ahead and toggle our head so it's not going to waste computing power later on and we can also go ahead and just toggle everything on select everything and delete history and then we can go ahead and delete those curves okay and we'll do that in the next couple of parts um, in the next couple of parts we're going to go ahead and finish off creating the neck and then we can move down onto our next big piece which is going to be the body so i'll see you guys in the next couple of parts